Out in the world, we have a big term, no matter what language you, you speak, called blood sugar. Now, let's be really thoughtful. What does that mean? Oh, guess what? It means we have sugar in our blood. We shouldn't have exceptional sugar in our blood. When we do, the other things we shouldn't have a lot of in our blood, like viruses and bacterias and molds and yeast and fungus and cancers, like to eat them because they're life forms too. And by the way, they're all negative life forms, just like negative people like to eat a lot of drug-like things like sugar. Well, negative disorders happen to like sugar. And they grow and they split and they develop and tumors get bigger and viruses go wild and they spread throughout the body when you have sugar in your blood. But that is really, really problematic to most of you listening because you've been conned, yes, conned by the health industry. I was conned by them. I was told white sugar bad. That was the only time I ever heard white was bad and honey good. The problem that I had is I was studying and I realized that if I had never seen honey, and went into a laboratory with white sugar and honey and analyzed it, I would come out and tell you that white sugar is 100% sugar, but honey is 98% sugar. Agave syrup, one of those great new age living food propagandas. And they've taken that into laboratories, legitimate laboratories, not the laboratories of the companies that sell it. They found out that it has approximately the same negative effect on the body as corn syrup has on the body. And so be very cautious with a lot of this enthusiastic marketing that goes on out there today.